Hey JVs, Ryan Phillips here. Welcome to the Interactor 2.0 demo video. I'm gonna recreate our old Interactor joint venture partner video from 2016 in our new Interactor app so you can see exactly how it works. So let me actually show you a quick 10 second video of our old 2016 Interactor JV video so you can see the interactive video experience that we're gonna build out. But first, I wanna put on one of our new t-shirts just so I look all professional and everything in the hope to convince you to jump on board and support us. So, which t-shirt do you want me to wear? So I'm gonna choose the green video. I love green, but this is a little too tight. Can I stop breathing in now? Yeah. Okay. I can't do it. This one's just a little too girly. And the black video goes to the rest of the JV video. Perfect. This one's just right. On behalf of myself and... Okay, so I'm just going to close this. That's what we're going to build out in Interactor 2.0 so I can show you how this app works. Let's jump in and get started. First, I'll click on New Project. Now, over here, you can see templates. You have a blank template, and then we have some interactive video templates right here. There will be more templates when we launch in about a month's time for the pro users. Now, if someone selects this and names it as, let's just say, JV Test, clicks on Create, then the workflow is already built out and people can just simply change out the videos just by clicking over here in the media library and just replacing the URL down here. Okay, but all the interactive elements are already built out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we do our JV video right from scratch. So I'm gonna go over to projects. I had a JV demo over here that I made earlier. So you can see the canvas is blank, but my videos are over here in the media library just for time's sake. These are MP4 videos I uploaded. You can use Vimeo or YouTube videos. An example of a YouTube video, I'm just gonna copy and paste a YouTube URL down here. I'm gonna hit enter. And you'll see the YouTube video has been added into the media library. From here, you can simply drag it to the canvas and move the um, this arrow, the path around. Now I'm just gonna delete that because it's not part of our JV video. So let's actually start and build this from scratch. Right here you see the canvas and you see the media library. We can move the media library out of the way if we want to, but first we're gonna drag our clips across. So my first video was the intro video. Then the second video it went into the looking video where I was looking to choose what t-shirt or for the viewer to choose what t-shirt I would wear. From there, the options were a pink t-shirt, a green t-shirt or the black t-shirt that then goes on and then asks what do you wanna see, or what do you wanna know about as a JV? Okay, well we just got the first half of the video like so. So from here we can zoom in or zoom out. Let me show you how the canvas works. The green video paths down here is a video end path. So this means, a green line means after this video, this next video automatically is going to play. If I want to have a button or a hotspot inside of a video where a user can choose where to go, I wouldn't use this green one. I would double click on the video to open the video editor. And this is where I add in my elements. We can add in hotspots, buttons, text, email, custom HTML, image, and triggers. So let me show you what these actually mean. If I wanted to have a hotspot, let's say this was an animated video and there was an animated kind of yes or no over here or animated options that was on the screen. I could just drag this over and this is an invisible, this is actually invisible on the video but it means that we can have really cool animated effects that we are gonna provide with the app and we can select them over here, okay? Down here we can select where we want the uh, hotspots to be uh, kind of open and available on the timeline and we can choose what happens on the left hand side and we can edit that property. Okay, now for this video, because we're using the, uh, you know, the t-shirt example, all I'm going to use is the images. Okay, and what I'll do before I actually bring on the images, I'll show you what a trigger does. A trigger does everything that a button does, but dynamically in the video without having something being clicked. What I mean by that is if I drag a button, and we can customize this however we want, but when someone clicks this button, we can have somebody either, it would either play a video, open a URL, skip to a certain time within the video, 
or open a pop-up. Okay, so these are the options when you click a button, this can happen. Now, what a trigger is, it means that you can have all of those things happen, but without someone clicking the button. Let me give you a live example. If I move a trigger over here, and let's say I wanted this trigger to come in at one second in this short video clip, and what I want the trigger to actually do is to open a pop-up. Now we're gonna have lots of pop-up templates here. I'm just gonna demonstrate the email template. So on this pop-up, uh, sorry, on this trigger, I'm just gonna go over to the behavior and on trigger, do I want it to do nothing? No, I want it to open a pop-up and the pop-up that I want it to open is the email pop-up. Okay, so I'm just gonna preview this and so you can actually see what the pop-up looks like. I'm gonna click on preview. So now I'm just gonna hit play. So this is what the email pop-up looks like. People can enter an email address and they can choose in the settings if they want to enable uh, users to skip this or if they don't want to skip it, they can only carry on if they enter their details. Okay, that's just an example of a trigger. But now let's go back to actually making this interactive video. So we're gonna get our three t-shirt images. I'm gonna drag an image over here and the top one I believe was the pink t-shirt. So I'm gonna add this pink image down into the image box down here and it adds it as you can see. Now I'm just gonna do this quickly so I'm not gonna you know, make it look too good. We'll have the pink t-shirt over here and what I want the pink t-shirt to do is play the pink video. So I'm gonna scroll down to behaviors. On click, I want it to play a node and I want that to be the pink one like so. Okay, nice and simple, nice and easy. Now let's just do, oh, in fact, let me show you the, uh, the canvas. Because we've set that up, we go back to the canvas, we can see it's now a blue path because when someone clicks, it goes to the pink video. Okay, so nice and intuitive, easy to see. Let's just quickly do the rest. So the next image that I want underneath, I believe was the black t-shirt. So I'm gonna drag the black t-shirt over here. We'll just quickly resize this again, just for the sake of the uh, video. Don't worry if they're not, you know, it's not exactly the same. Again, on the black t-shirt, what we want it to do is we want it to play a video and we want it to play the black video. And finally, it was the green t-shirt, wasn't it? So we're gonna add the green t-shirt down here. Again, I'm gonna drag this over into the image part. Let's just resize uh, this so it's the same size as the uh, others or thereabouts, about right. And on that, we want it to play the green video. So right now, our menu video clip is completed. If we go back to the canvas, we can see the green is the video end path. The element paths are in blue, as you can see here. Okay, now the other thing, the final thing we need to add before I can show you this working is if someone picked the pink t-shirt, we wanted them to be able to go back so they could only continue the video if they pick the right one. So to do that, again, we open up, we double click on the pink video and we're gonna add the image. It was on the top right because we're recreating the 2016 JV video and it was a pick another t-shirt image. So I'll drag this over here and uh, we'll just keep that 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 you know that that size for now, just for time's sake. And on click, we want it to open a video, and it's got to go back to the normal uh, looking video. Okay, we're going to go back. So you can see it's added that button that goes back to the normal video. We'll do it one more time for the green video, and then we'll actually view the interactive video and see how it goes. So we'll add our image over this side, and again, I'm just going to drag the image over. We'll just keep it that size for now, just for this demo. On this click, I'm gonna have it open a video. The video is gonna be that menu video, the look video. And from here, I'm just gonna click on save changes and let's preview this video and see what it looks like. We'll just preview this node and we'll kind of skip through the videos to make sure it works. So I'm gonna go on preview. So let's hit play and see what happens. I love green, but this is a little too tight. Can I? Let's try the pink one. I can't do it. This one's just a little too girly. Okay, pick another t-shirt. And black. Perfect. This one's just right. 
on behalf of myself. So everything works great. Now what I would actually do on the pink t-shirt, I think it would look better if this button actually came in, uh, you know, later in the video. So let's just play this video. I can't do it. This one's just a little too girly. So about there, after it says a little too girly, that's where we're gonna have this node play. Okay, so let's just preview it so we can see if that looks better. I can't do it. This one's just a little too girly. Perfect. Okay, and that, my friends, is how Interactor works, how we recreated the uh, JV video for the, for the 2016 launch. As you can see, it's massively upgraded. There's lots more features. And just before we go, actually, if you wanna stick behind for a minute or two longer, I'll show you a cool affiliate video that I used with the chapters. I'm gonna hit uh, head back to projects. I'm gonna go over to this chapters demo. Now, one thing that you can do, instead of you know working out all these workflows, let's say you just want a chap someone to be able to skip to different chapters in a video. Here, I've just promoted Sam Backer's Recastly. So we had the intro video, what I think about Recastly, what our bonuses were for the promotion, our review video of the product, and the case study that, uh, you know, some content that can help users make a good uh, buy-in decision. So all you have to do, instead of messing around with these, um, you know, links, we don't have to do that. We can make chapters if we don't want to do it. So all I do is go to settings, click on enable chapters, save changes. And then if we preview the project, you'll see exactly how the chapters work. So I'm just going to hit play over here. I'm oh, sorry, I'm going to uh, preview the project over here. And what you'll see when I hit play is a little menu bar on the right hand side. Hey guys, Ryan Phillips here. Welcome to this video. What I want to do in this video Let's is skip just to the give review a part. quick overview and the... Hey guys, Ryan Phillips here. Welcome to this Recastly review and demo or video. Go to of the course, bonuses, the main... Hey guys, Ryan Phillips here. In this video, I want to talk to you about the... Okay, so you can see how chapters work. Also, now we're gonna have some different designs for this to make it look cooler, but that's a really quick and easy way to get started with interactive video to make it more engaging uh, for customers. You know, if you don't want to go through the, the route of, you know, doing all of the um, paths and elements and doing all of that stuff. And that's how Interactor works. We also have a stats board where we have the, the you know, the headline stats, the views, percentage of viewers that interacted, conversion rate and total revenue, and these all get broken down into the stats below. As you can see, a very detailed analytics dashboard is included with the Interactor software. So if you have any questions, guys, please feel free to reach out to me. Make sure you sign up to support this launch. Make sure you sign up for the affiliate and joint venture updates, and I'll see you guys in the next video.